Ephesians chapter 6. Verses 13, the Bible says, Take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, take the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand. The next verse begins the, the following. Stand therefore. Stand therefore. Having guarded your waist with the truth. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Verses 15. And having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And verse 16. And above all. Taking the shield of faith. With which you will be able to quench all the fiery deaths of the wicked one. Somebody said amen. Somebody shout amen. Actually, that scripture continues up to around verse 19. But because of time, let's. Uh, we will just mention the rest and uh, God will be glorified. I also request we read another scripture here. Matthew chapter 7 verses, verses verse 24. Jesus spoke these words. Whoever that hears these sayings of mine and does them I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. Verse 25 and the rain descended. The plants came. The winds blew and the beat on that house. After that a definition of a storm it comprised what we are just reading right there. Plants came. Winds blew. Beat on that house. And it did not fall. Why? For it was founded on the rock. The house was not founded on a rock. It was founded on the rock. There, there is the word. My grammar teacher in Yambia in Iko in on some specification. Not any other rock. There are so many rocks. But the rock Jesus. Yes. He was talking of himself. That any house established on him. Actually, is giving an analogy here of a house, but he's talking of a man that hears his word. It's like it's, 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 this man is like a builder that built his house on the rock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 10 verse 25 says the following. And the rain descended. The plants came. And the winds blew. And the house. This house. It did not fall. For it was founded on the rock. 26. Verse 26. 
26 but everyone that hears this sayings of mine lakini kila anayesikia maneno haya yangu do not do them does not do them na hayatendi will be like a foolish man ni kama mtu mjinga who built his house on sand anayejenga nyumba yake kwenye mchanga plants came garika ilikuja weeds blew upepo ukavuma beat that house ukapiga ile nyumba and it fell na ikaanguka and great was the fall ilianguka kwa kishindo kikubwa great was the fall uanguko mkubwa somebody say amen sema amen now there is something common that happening to the two houses kuna kitu These two houses they all faced same challenge but the foundation determined their stability determined whether they will stand or not put the lift up your right arm somebody says standing amid these storms of life somebody say i will stand amid these challenges amid these storms of life now what is a storm in the natural what is a storm a storm is a violent atmospheric disturbance yes it is a violent atmospheric disturbance that is characterized by the following strong winds floods rain thunderstorms or thunders hallelujah glory be to god so a storm comprise in the physical strong winds in a comprise in a husu thanda radi yani vitu na huruma mpaka unashtuka radi inapiga kwa nguvu sana praise the name of the lord hallelujah there was a storm kulikuwa in the atmosphere kulikuwa na garika upepo mkali and the key word is here neno kali ni hapa this the or the, what we calling a storm kila tunaita garika it has got a force si ina nguvu fulani of disturbing the atmosphere ya kuharibu hanga Three, some of them you see them going upside down kuna miti utaona imengolewa if it is taking place in a sea or an ocean ikiwa ni kule kwenye bahari you will see mighty waves utaona mawimbi ya maji you will see houses for example in the in now on dry ground houses being lifted ikiwa ni nchi kavu utaona nyumba zinabebwa i come from a place years ago natoka mahali ambapo miaka ba every dry season kila wakati wa kiangazi we used to experience every week tulikuwa tunaona upepo mkali and all houses were roofed by grass nyumba zilikuwa zimeezekwa kwa nyasi i'm telling you many times mara nyingi nakwambia we used to sleep outside tulikuwa tunalala nje because a weed would come during the day kibubani kingekuja usiku and carry the roof things were tough ambayo yalikuwa makali We would see it from afar. Tungeona upepo kwa mbali. Tunajua strong wind is coming. Tukamenya kibubani na gesheti. It was crazy. Upepo wa kisulisi. It would turn everything upside down. Ungepindua kila kitu. Tepos sufuria karai everything. Into kashia kuwa bwana. Turn them upside down. Pinduliwa na kubeba. So we are saying a storm. Tunasema garika. Is a violent atmospheric disturbance. Si hali ya anga ambayo ina usumbufu. That is characterized. Bayo ina tabia kama by strong winds. Upepo mkali. Flames. Mafuriko. Rain. Vua kali. Clouds. Mawimbi. Lightnings. Kuna umeme. There are troubling. Kuna radi na mambo ya kuogofia. As we do up this comes in the spectacle Tun, kama vile tunaona garika hii kwa mambo ya even in the spirit realm hata kwenye anga ya kiroho there are storms kuna garika there are storms that are unleashed kuna garika zinazoachiliwa on this earth in the spiritual realm hapa duniani anga ya 
roho. You can appear calm and everything is okay. Unaweza onekana umenyamaza tu. But you are going through a stormy experience. Lakini unapitia mambo makali. That's why you hear somebody that you you worshiped with maybe last Sunday. Ndio unaweza kusikia mtu mliabudu na Jumapili mepita. The following week. Week inayokuja. He or she has done something that you could not imagine. Unasikia alifanya kitendo ambacho wewe uamini. Because he or she was going through a storm in the mind or psychologically. Sababu kihisia au kiyakili alikuwa anapitia garika kubwa. I pray for everyone that is in this service. Whatever kind of a storm that you are facing. The God of the church is going to calm that storm. Somebody say my father will calm the storm. My father my God will calm the storm. Isaiah chapter 25 Verse four says the following. Isaiah 25 verse 4. For you have been a strength to the poor, O Lord. A strength to the needy in his distress. And a refuge from the storm. So the Lord here Kwa hivyo bwana hapa it becomes our refuge anafanyika kimbilio leo from the storms of life kutokana na garika ya maisha God here the prophet is saying hapa nabii anasema the Lord God bwana Mungu is a strength to the poor ndiye nguvu ya maskini is the strength to them that are in distress ndiye nguvu ya wanyo wenye na usumbufu but he is also the refuge lakini pia yeye ni kimbilio from storms kimbilio kutoka kwa garika in the name of the Lord by this powerful word in this storm you are going through may God be your refuge may you find the safety in the Lord that's why Proverbs 18.10 says the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and the righteous is saved now quick let understand some points here what is the aim of these storms in life the aim of these storms number one it is to cause disturbance ni kusumbua watu COVID-19 is a storm in the world imesumbua biashara imesumbua maisha ya watu watoto wamesumbuliwa masomo hallelujah so storms number one they come to disturb people to, to disturb people I pray the name of Jesus may God deliver you from that disturbance there are people in this service even as I'm speaking right now you are so disturbed in your mind you are so disturbed in your emotions I speak peace 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 of the Lord peace of the Lord peace of the Lord in the name of Jesus and disturbed mind cannot do much that's when one day Jesus was dealing with that storm he said come tulia number two storms they come to cause fear and panic to cause fear it can be a challenge in your children it can be a challenge among your people it can be your a financial challenge it's something that you want to cause some fear the bible says when the disciples experience a storm the first thing that came 
was fear. I pray that fear will not have you. Some of you are worried how you want to end this year. How will I do you and the president say January all schools must be open. You are already in fear. How will I manage the fees? I pray for you right now. God Jehovah God will handle your situation. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. In Psalm 83 verse 15. The writer is praying here to God. And say Lord. Pursue them with your tempest. <laughs> and frighten them with your storm. So storms comes to frighten. I pray the name of Jesus. The spirit of fear will not cover your life. Fear and the worry is not from God. It's not the will of God for you to be at the fear. Number three, storms come to cause a believer to waver in his or her faith. May you never waver because of, of the storms of this life. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians 15 and the verse 58 my beloved brethren be standfast be immovable always abounding in the work of the Lord for your labor in the Lord is not in vain maybe you are going through a challenge here that wants you to waver and even to lose your focus and backslide I come to tell you don't you ever stand firm the Bible says Abraham even when he encountered a challenge of conceiving as, 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 as a the promised son. Romans chapter 4, verse 21. The Bible says, Abraham, I want to paraphrase, he did not waver in his faith. Everybody in the Bungia Mukono Tabadali. Okay, no matter whatever you face you will not waver in the name of Jesus somebody say I will not waver I will not lose my focus the Bible says verses 20 he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief Abraham did not waver I pray for everybody here no matter the predicament of the challenge you are facing you will not waver so many people are backslid this COVID-19 season but as for you I pray you will not waver you will not turn back to Egypt because of the challenge number four storms come to shake a believer Yes. To shake. Kukutikisa. Somebody say I am unshakable. Somebody say in Christ Jesus. I will not be shaken. Even when storms come. Challenges come. I pray. You will be unshakable. Psalm 125 as 1. 
Zaburi The Bible says Those who trust in the Lord Are like Mount Zion Which cannot be moved But abides forever It means that them that trust in the Lord Even when shake-ups come They will not shake I pray the name of the Lord None of the members of this church Will be shaken By the cares of this world By the problems of the day Lay your hand over your head And say my father Help me Jehovah Amid these the storms of this life I will not be shaken I will not be shaken When men are cast down I will say like Job There is a lifting up In the name of Jesus Clap your hands and say Amen Number five Storms come to destabilize a believer Yeah it's almost the same, but to destabilize. You were established and then Yani, ulikuwa imara. Lakini sasa, unaondolewa tu. Unakuta kuna miti, doruba ikikuja. Unakuta ama that strong winds. Miti ambayo ilikuwa na mizizi, matapru, deep. Iyo miti naanza kungoka. I pray for you. Hauta ngoka. Hata magonjwa ita kungoa. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Somebody says, Sita ngoka. Sita ngoka. Sita ngoka. Sita ngoka. Katika wakofu. Sita ngoka. Katika imani. Sita ngoka. Sita ngoka. Amen. Ayabarabaga doskipa. When God sees this. Mungu anapona hi. Zalabaga dosiataya. Maka dosika paradabaya. Number six. Number six. Storms come. The ruba huja. To kill. Kuhua. The Bible says. Bible inasema. And when the disciples of Jesus experienced a storm. Wakati wanafunzi wa Yesu walikumba na doruba. The first one that came out of their mouth. Jina la kwanza walilo lisema neno. Can't you see we are dying. Kwani uoni tunakufa. The storm and the target of eliminating this. The church of Jesus. Garika ilikuwa imelenga kumaliza kanisa la Yesu. Just all the leaders. Yani viongozi wote. Imagine ni kanisa viongozi wote. Wanaisha Including the senior pastor But I thank God Jesus rose up And spoke to the storm And said you have missed the way We are not dying We will have to cross over And I prophesy to everybody here In the name of Jesus It has matter how people are dying you will not die even COVID-19 will leave you alive somebody shout yeah you need to have this faith listen to this in God Kando Baraduska this is Tom will not have power over you Lift up your hands, everybody. In the name of the risen Christ. In the name of the risen Christ. You will not die in that challenge. That's why baby miracle. Did not die. Even when doctors had spoken otherwise. Why? We serve a God. That it doesn't matter what the enemy want to do. He can turn things around. And I prophesy to you in the name of the risen Christ, no weapon that is fashioned against you that will prevail. Clap your hands and they say, I will not die. Somebody say, I will not die. Somebody say, my children are not going to die prematurely because my father is able. I want to just mention this. 
facts about storms of life kweli kuhusu garika za kimaisha i'll just mention and then you'll come how to stand amid them then you'll be done in a na, very short time na shukurikia ikisha nikuonyeshe jinsi ya kusimama imara kinywa chake facts take. about these storms of life number 1 kweli kuhusu storms za maisha they are about to come yani lazima zitakuja they will come ni kawaida kuja kwa storm umeokoka ama umebackslide jana okolole mbonoku kana temobonoku they will come ibubanish igasha they will come igasha challenges matatizo bible calls them evil the evil day biblia inaita siku ya uovu number 2 ya pili they come to all people zinakuja kwa watu wote azibagui strong or weak wawe ni watu wenye nguvu ama dhaifu matajiri anointed or disappointed waliopakwa na walio or anointed na waliosaulika wote jesus gave that analogy and he said two people built their two houses yes alitoa mfano akasema watu wawili walijenga nyumba but plants came lakini garika ilikuja plants did not say this one imejengwa kwa mchanga acha tuepe garika haikusema ene ele modatunika tumevelele this one the foundation is a rock let's not touch it no ati hii msingi ile bigani katotikane nayo two houses and experienced the storm hizi nyumba zote zilipatikana na garika number 3 ya tatu this is very important hii ni muhimu these storms of life hizi garika za maisha they hear zinasikia and obey na huwa zinatii the command of our god amri kutoka kwa mungu wetu ah amen you should, should clap your hands amen amen they hear and obey huwa zinasikia commands na huwa zinatii from our god amri kutoka kwa mungu and you see jesus said unaona yesu anasema he that will hear you yule atakaye kusikia will hear me atanisikia that will use your mouth wisely tumia mdo kinywa chako vizuri because some of these things you speak to them mambo mengine utaya He that will hear you yale atakusikia will hear me yatasikia mimi mungu ah yeah amen clap 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 all right now quickly how are we gonna stand amid these storms je tutaweza kusimama vipi number one, i will just do like two or three points the rest will continue later ya kwanza nitafanya tatu hivi alafu tutaendelea how to stand amid these storms because god's expectation mungu anatutarajia sisi or god's will ama mapenzi ya mungu to every child of god anatarajia la mungu kwa kila mtu usimame imara no matter what happens haijarishi nini kinafanyika Whether things are good or not. Mambo ya mazuri au mabaya. Ephesians 6:13. The Bible says. Bibi inasema. We have to take up the all armor of God. Basi vaani silaha yote ya Mungu. That you may be able to withstand. Ili utaweza kusimama. In the day that is called evil day. Katika ile siku inaitwa ya uovu. And having done all. Baada ya kufanya mambo yote. Can we read together the last portion? And having done all and having done all to stand having done what oh to do what to stand having done everything baada kufanya kila kitu having put a mask baada ya kuweka mask stand simama having distance baada ya kuweka mask having quarantined baada ya quarantine having done all kila kitu god expect you to start everybody shout i will not fall having done all having sung in praise him having ushered the people having protocol having cleanse clean whatever kept the sanctuary having driven the pastor whatever you do God's expectation it is to stand na ikanisa naona wa mama mahali hapa wa mama ambao watasimama hata kama kutanyesha mawe watasimama wazee ambao watasimama hata kama wametafuta unga ikamwagika watasimama kijana ambao watasimama ninakutabilia katika jina la Yesu sema nitasimama kunyeshe ama kukose nitasimama niwe na kazi ama ni mfutwe nitasimama nipate muke ama nikae hivyo simama 
Simama. Whether boyfriend or not. Uwe na rafiki ama hauna. Umeachwa njana ama hujaachwa. Otigwe kanote katika. Mungu anasema. Tayari uga having done all. Ukiwa umefanya yote. The future Kesho. is in the hands of them that will stand. Amen. Destiny in God is not in the hands of backsliders. It's not in the hands of men and women that today are happy, today they are not. It's in the hands of men that will be steadfast immovable with the corona or not with the children or not with the boy boy child or not he says stand having done all stand stand having that simply means having done all you can even if you are failed Ata ukishindo don't fail on standing At, usi 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 fail kwa kustand usishindwe na kusimama yeah mshindwe na mengine lakini si kusimama biashara ikianguka usianguke nayo biashara yako atikagwe nayo simama ndoa ikiisha usiishe nayo stand kepiko kia tirao tikatirania na kio relationship ikivunjika usivunjika nayo osole watu kao tikadhoke na u ambia mwanzo don't lose your mind because you need that mind to handle the next level. Amen. John. Kikiumana, don't lose your mind. You need this mind for that breakthrough that is coming. Amen. I'm going to I will not lose my mind. I will not lose because my mind. Because stand. Si mama. Yeah. So lift up your hand and say my father. Help me to stand. Kado kebere dazika, zuki kaparadoska. I pray for somebody here. No matter what happens, stand. Simama. Please stand. Even if even if nothing is happening. Look at what's happening. It's like everything has fallen apart. I came to mind. speak this word. Stand. Hey, let Mama. everything around you fall. But be left standing. Let everything around you scatter. But don't let your spirit scatter. Jesus said, He that will endure to the end, this one will enjoy salvation. Now, just write this down quickly. And then I'll be done. Oh God, for you to start number one, you got to know, you got to be conscious of this, that your God is above every storm. No matter the intensity of the storm, you, you got to be aware of this. Your God is above every storm. In other words, He is greater than every adversity. He is greater than whatever kind of opposition or challenge that you could be facing. Now, Matthew 14, verse 23. Maybe you can give us a little bit of translation. The Bible says, the Bible says, after setting them home, he went up into the hills, the hills by himself to pray. A night fell when he was there. Quickly, verse 24. Now, verses 24 says, but the boat was now in the midst of the sea, tossed by the waves of the weed. Uh, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary. Mashua ilikuwa mbali kutoka nchikavu ikisukwa sukwa na mawimbi kwa sababu pepo ulikuwa mkali. Verses 26 and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled saying, it is a ghost and they cried out for fear. But, uh, but immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, be of good cheer. 
it is high do not be afraid Yesu akasema jipeni moyo ni mimi msiogopi Verse 27 again But Jesus spoke to them at once do not be afraid he said take courage i'm here the man appeared walking on the storm Huyo mtu alitokea akiwa anatembea juu ya dhoruba The troubled water Yale maji alikuwa na usomo He was walking over it Alikuwa anatembea juu yake On it juu yake. In other words Yani even this challenge Hata shida hii It is under my feet Iko chini ya nyayo zangu I come to tell you Nikutane kuambia Kama you are facing Kila unakumbana nayo Jesus can handle it Yesu anaweza It is not greater than your God Somebody shout my father Will handle the mountain. Maybe a financial challenge. A relationship battle. God will handle it. Clap your hands everybody. Clap your hands everybody. Clap your hands everybody. And sorry my father. As well able. You got to be conscious of that. Lazima ujue hiyo. Never think this challenge is too big that my God can't handle. No, 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 no. Usiseme tatizo ni kubwa sana Mungu hawezi hii. In Isaiah 59 verse 19. Isaiah 59 mstari wa 19. The Bible says Bible nasema, when the enemy comes like a flood. Adui anapokuja kama garika. Yeah, the spirit of the Lord. The Lord will lift the standard. Atainua kiwango. Genesis him. Number two, for you to stand amidst a storm, you got to have faith and strong faith in God. Matthew 14. Jesus asked the disciples, Where is your faith? Amidst the storm, where is your faith? Where is your faith? Why have you replaced your faith with fear? In other words, in the midst of a challenge, God expects you to keep your faith intact in Him. It is a secret of standing. Hiyo ndio siri ya kusimama. Amidst the storm. Katikati ya garika. Number three. Number three. Refuse to fear. Kataa kuogopa. Somebody shout I will not fear. Sema sitaogopa. Somebody shout I will not fear. Sitaogopa. To tell me that the one verse is 6. Kumbe kumbe la Torati 31:1 mstari wa 6. To tell me that the one verse is 6. Kumbe kumbe la Torati 31:1 mstari wa 6. You need translation. So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not panic before them for the lord your god will personally go ahead of you he will neither fail you nor abandon you can you see that amen can you see that yes. can we read now everybody so be strong and uh-huh uh uh-huh 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 Wow. Somebody say yes. Dio. Somebody say I refuse to fear. Nimekataa kuogopa. Maybe you are going to a challenge. Fear not my brother. Fear not my sister. Fear not mama. Jehovah God is going ahead of you. He will level that mountain. He will silence that situation. Kanda baragadosa. Come on and celebrate the Lord. Refuse to fear. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Glory to God. Kutukuma. Number 4. Number 4. Make sure Christ is in the boat. Hakikisha Kristo yuko kwenye mashua. The boat is, is you. Mashua ni wewe. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Wewe ndiye hekalu ya Roho Mtakatifu. Make sure God is in, in you or with you. Hakikisha Mungu yuko ndani yako na yuko na wewe. Don't lose your relationship with God. Usipoteze urafiki wako. Because of a relationship. Because of money. 
Because of bitterness. Because of challenges. Don't lose your relationship with God. Because of the challenges of the day. Makes your crisis in the boat. The Bible says when the storm arose. And the Bible says. And the disciples. They woke him up. Because he was there. He was there. And the Bible says when he woke up. He silenced the storm. When he is with you. Calming is a possibility. Calmness. Change is a possibility. No matter the challenge. There is hope. There is hope. Number number five. Number five. I'm rushing fast. Then I'll just be done a minute. When a storm comes, or for you to stand amid these storms, you got to embrace the ministry of prayer. Psalm 50 verse 15 Psalm 50 verse 15 Then call on me when you are aware in trouble I will do what? Rescue you and will give me glory some of you may not even understand that verse, but ask Kimadhi. It's Kimadhi. Yeah, he's here. Yeah, this one. Uyu. He was giving a test. How he was kidnapped. And they carried him for many kilometers from this county to central Kenya. Akapelekwa Adi Central Kenya. At gunpoint. Inakata. Kim was praying, my father, my father. Rescue me. Amefungwa mpaka macho. Amefungwa mikono, amefungwa migu, amekanyangi wa chini kwa gari. And you see, the whole of September and October, we have been preaching here midweek services about divine help. Amen. Call upon me in the day of trouble. And I will deliver you. And I will, and you shall Glorify. Glorify. Can we read together everybody? Then call on me when you are in trouble and I will rescue you and you will. Some of you when you face a challenge you just cry, oi mami, oi baba, nini, nini. Call on God. Ita mungu, he will shira. rescue you. Hallelujah. Can somebody lift up your hand and say, my father, Baba yangu. rescue me, Lord. Rescue me. Even this COVID-19, COVID. it is real. COVID is real. Ukweli ipo. But our God is more real mungu wetu ni wakweli than zaidi. this thing. Yeye ni zaidi. He will rescue you. Atakuoko. Wave your hand say, and say, my father, Baba yangu. thank you, oh God, Tanka, for I know you will rescue me. May you be rescued. And the last point. You got to be a worshiper. If you will stand. And the storms of life. You got to be a worshiper. Somebody say I am a worshiper. Everybody say I am a worshiper. The book of, the book of Matthew chapter 15. There is a woman right there. She was facing a storm in her family. Her daughter was perplexed and aroused by a demon spirit. And the Bible says, this woman, verse 22, she came to Jesus and cried out mercy on me. Oh, son of David. For my daughter is severely demon possessed. Jesus did not answer a word. Jesus kept it quiet. And that's how at times you will pray. And it is like God has kept it quiet. You have set a goal. That by 2020. I will have been married. But that God is already lapsing to the time 
name has already lapsed. And nothing has happened. It's like God has kept it quiet. And we together, everybody. Please wave your hand, everybody. Wave your hand and shout, yes. The Bible says, this woman came again. Jesus like kept it quiet. He kept it quiet. Many times we believe us. We are in such situations. You pray like nothing is happening. You, it's, you, 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 you invest. It's like everything has, is falling apart. You can do set a goal and a, and, 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 and a dream. That by the end of this, I will have done this. But it's like nothing is happening. You are not alone. There is a woman here. She came to Jesus. And the Jesus and she presented a request. Oh Jesus. Have mercy on me. For my daughter is an attack. I'm experiencing a family storm. Things are not good at home. My son is on drugs. My wife is sick. My husband is, is down. God do something. The Bible says Jesus did not answer a word. Jesus is like he kept quiet. He answered not a word. He kept quiet. And the Bible says but he answered not a word. And his disciples came and him saying send her away for she cries out after us. Now Jesus has kept quiet. Human beings instead of sympathizing with her they want her to be expelled away. You could be here in your prayer closet. You have not found an answer. And when you relate to the people it is like they are rejecting you. I come to tell you don't you give up. Having done all stuff. Having done all stuff. And to cut the story short. Verses 25. She engaged another gear. Verses 25. The Bible says. This woman came again. This is a dimension. Many Christians don't know. This is a dimension. Many believers neglect. When she faced triple opposition. And rejection. She came the standing time. And the Bible says. She worshipped him. Somebody say be a worshipper. She worshipped him. You see when it comes to worship. You don't worship. Because you have gotten a job. You don't worship. Because your bank account is fat. You don't worship. Because you are being kissed by your husband. You don't worship. Because the marriage is working. You don't worship. Because you are doing well. You worship him. Because he deserves. He deserves. With or without. He deserves. That is why. People Christians. People Christians. What our Christo are condemned. Kabisa. They are not just excited. By pressing only. But they are also excited. When it is worshipping. Where you bow your knees. And say my father. I love you. 
you. You are more than what people say. I love you. The common fell at the seat and began to worship. The Bible says, Paul and the Cyrus, they are in a prison. Doors are locked. They are naked. Their hands are bowed. Their legs are bowed. But at midnight, they began to worship. They began to worship. Somebody, somebody say worship. Somebody say God. We will never despise worshipers. The moment she began, she began to worship. Jesus intervened and they named the way and they told the woman greatest your faith if you can worship me when I have not answered your prayer if you can worship me when I have not answered your prayer you qualify to walk out of the storm and I pray for people here no matter what is happening my dear let's worship him you didn't get a job and the year is ending worship him you did get a baby 2020 worship him you did get a house worship him you did get married worship him your project failed worship him you lost your child worship him you lost your mother worship him somebody say I will worship God hallelujah Lift up your hands and worship Him. Worship Him. God will never despise worshipers. The book of the book of John, chapter four, verses twenty-four. Jesus spoken said, "The Father." Of seeking worshippers, men and women, that wanna worship Him. Not people that are just praying. Our praying is good, but go beyond the prayer and worship the Father. I adore you, Lord. In worship, that is where you cry for mercy. You cry for mercy. But Myers didn't have his eyes. He didn't have his eyes. But he worshipped. He said, "The whole son of David, have mercy on me." In worship, you express. The worthy shape of God. The worthy of Jehovah. I give unto you all. Just stretch your hands wherever you are. I just feel well. Just sit there like that if you can. Just sit there like that. Just sit there like that. I want to just adore Him. I talk him, worship him. My Buddha, my Buddha. I give to yes. you. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Belong to you. You see, many times over to Nassau, even the hair we are breathing, God has given us. And now ends, we end up murmuring. Please listen. Even the life that you have belongs to Him. Worship. 
perfume to also present feels this place for the To God be the glory. Come on, celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Worship. Worship. Be a worshiper. Be a worshiper. Be a worshiper. Many people complain. Grumble. Mama. All these actually, they minus you. They get stuff out of you. They, 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 they just they erase that which is good in your life murmuring ants nothing complaining ants nothing it actually deducts even that which is good but when you are facing a storm it's there it's not going worship worship Job leads to this point. Job 13, 15, he said, Even though he slay me, I will still defend my ways. I will still trust in him. 1925, he said, I know my redeemer is alive. I know that is worship. I you are my God. I mean this thought this. Joblessness, scarcity, lack, poverty, oppression, sicknesses, I will not relent. I will worship. I knew God will heal baby miracle when Mutinda called me and be a pastor. You even taught us one day there is a man that Jesus healed once. He touched him. He was blind. And he asked him, can you see? He told him, you are, I'm seeing people like trees walking. And Jesus touched him again. That Let's... means, don't you give up. Just because you have prayed once na and nothing has happened. Don't you quit! Usitoke. Usiondoke. Usiachili. Kuna mtu anakuja tu anapigia pasta simu mara moja tu imekuwa mteja the four in day hata wewe oh pasta unajua ni kupigia anga simu na upatikani haleluya kuna mtu anapiga simu mara moja kikwa mteja hapigi tena anakata tamaa ambia mwenzako be a worshiper tena mtu kuwa mwabudu I'll worship him. I'll pray again. I'll praise again. Even if it is not moving, I know my Redeemer is alive. Relentlessness. But shadow people, they just, Maraya Kwanza, ah. They want to quit, they want to commit suicide, they want to give up. No. Lakini watu wa mamba raisi raisi, Wanakata tamaa, wanaacha, mara ya kwanza, wajaribu. Having done all. Ata baada ya kukanya yote. Se mama. Stand. Se mama. Now, think about the day you meet Paul and Cyrus. Ebu fikira siku takutana ya Paolo na Sila. They worshipped God naked in a prison. Walia budu mungu wakiwa uchi, wame fungwa. They began to praise. We bow down and worship. Worship us. Wabudu. They don't quit. How they stand. They know. Ata kama haitendeki. Yeye tundi anaweza katenda. Ata kama haifanyiki. No when mongeka. Worship. You worship him. You don't worship him because of what he has done. Atu mwabudu kwa kile amefani. Because of what he is. Tuna mwabudu kwa kile yeye alie. Yeye alie. Yeah. Amen. Let's glorify God. Everybody clap your hands.